Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. This has been a heavily requested video on Instagram and on YouTube. Please, Louis, can you do a curtains hairstyle tutorial? So, today, we're in Ibiza. Uncle Mike is at the gym and I've got the apartment to myself, peace and quiet. So, I'm gonna show you how I style my hair. Okay, so just the other day, I got highlights put in and to be honest, I wasn't quite sure about them. However, they are growing on me and I think in a few weeks, in a month's time, they're gonna look a lot nicer and a lot more natural. And definitely with this hairstyle, if you have dark hair, um, the highlights are gonna add more contrast and give your hair kind of more shape, which I think is a really nice thing. So, you need four things today. One, you need a hairdryer with a little nozzle. Um, this is a hairdryer that we got with the apartment. Probably not the best. You need a wide brush, brush, <laughs> um, a wide toothbrush, I think it's called, and it's got vents so that the air can flow through it from the hairdryer. And then you need two products, the only two products that I've been using for the last year. So we have Blue Man Ascend Volume Cream. This is pretty much the only product I ever use now and I couldn't live without it. And then just to add a few finishing touches, the Blue Man, blah, 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 Blue Man Cavalier heavy clay. So that's just gonna kind of finish it off and we only need a very small amount of that. However, this, this is a game changer. So, I've literally just got out of the shower, I've just washed my hair, so next up I need to towel dry it. Ooh, look like I'm from Busted. Rock on, man. Okay, so that's my hair towel dried. Next up, we have the Ascend Volume Cream. I'm gonna show you how much I use. I have quite long hair, remember? Right now, it's down to just below my nose, so it is very long. So I need quite a few pumps. Three pumps, this much to be precise. And then, rub it through your hands, and then all we're gonna do is rub it and try and cover each and every hair in the volume cream. Fingers through. It's very important that you get a nice even spread. By the way, in case you're wondering where I'm looking, I'm looking at the mirror just behind you. I need a mirror to do my hair. Now normally, I said this in my last video, I would literally Literally just comb it back, right? Like so, like I've just done, all the way back. And then, once I've combed it back, put my head forward, like so, and shake. And that's gonna find a natural pattern. And if I don't think the pattern suits, I'll brush it again, and shake. And that will go, we'll have like a natural pattern. And then literally, because we are in Ibiza, and it's a lot warmer here than it is in the UK, I would just go out like this, with my hair like this, and it'll dry all nice and very natural, and it'll have a lot of shape and a lot of like hold and volume, which I think always looks really nice. So that is pretty much all I've been doing with my hair whilst I've been here, and that has been the best method for me by far. But today, say you're in a cold country, and you don't have time to wait for it to dry, I'll show you how to do it with the hairdryer. But again, it's all about finding that natural pattern. And for me, the best way to do it is to brush it all back, Head forward and shake. Voila! And then just brush it forward, like so. Okay, so as you can see, that is looking pretty nice. Once it dries, it's gonna look even nicer, trust me. So there we go, that is the hair tutorial done normally. But for you guys, I'm gonna show you how to do it with the hair dryer and literally all we used was this product. It's by far the best. So now what we're gonna do with the hairdryer is kind of dry it off and kind of put it into a shape where we can then apply some of the clay and hold it in place. One thing that you need to be careful with with the hairdryer for me personally is I have a lot of volume already in my hair. My hair is quite thick. So one thing I don't want to do is apply a load of volume in the front because then it's gonna kind of stay held back. You want it to fall forward and fall into curtains in front of your head. So be very careful not to put the hairdryer right up close to here and add a load of volume to the roots because that's not what you want. So as you can see on top, it's just nice and messy. I really like how it looks. 
and it just falls on the sides nicely. A lot of people, a lot of people when they're trying to achieve this look would brush their hair back like this. I'm not gonna do that today and I'll show you why. This hair dryer is not good. Okay, so you will have noticed that I'm not using the hairdryer to push the hair back into any sort of position. I'm actually using it more as like, as if the wind is blowing on my hair and drying it, and I'm allowing that natural parting to stay in the same place. That way we're gonna get a lot more natural look, and the curtains are gonna fall nicely in front of the face. If we do start pushing the hair back with the hairdryer, the heat from the hairdryer is gonna hold it in place, and we don't really want it to be sat back. We want it to be sitting in front of the face. That's the look we're trying to achieve. So, let's keep going. Okay guys, so that is the finished look. As you can see, the highlights are just kind of a little bit too much at the minute, but once we get some more dark hair growing through there and the highlights kind of tone down a little bit, right now it's got a toner on, it will become a lot less obvious and it'll look a lot more natural, but that is pretty much my hairstyle complete. And as you can see, we only used one product, the volume cream. And right now, as you can see, I can move it around and it kind of goes wherever I put my hands. Sometimes, if I don't want it to sit in front of my face, I'll have it sit like this. And you can see that I'm literally moving it any way I want. And it sits the right way. So we've got one side forward and one side back, which also looks really nice. And then the pattern is obviously in the middle again, giving that curtain look. And then just push it to add a little bit more volume. But there we go, that is the hair tutorial complete. If you want to, you can use some of the Cavalier, Cavalier clay. That's gonna just add a little bit more hold, or you can even finish it with some hairspray. But if you do finish it with hairspray, make sure to use like a matte hairspray. You don't want it to be shiny. You want it to look very natural and almost fluffy as if it's just fallen into place like this. That's the whole point of this look. So guys, I hope you like this tutorial. I will put a link down below for the Blue Man hair products and I'll also put a discount code down below so you guys can use my little discount code and make me look good for the guys over at Blue Man. Um, yeah, that's literally all there is to it. I will apply a little bit of the Cavalier clay just so you can see what I mean. Just the tiniest amount, just to kind of hold the hair in place. So that much, I'm gonna rub it right into the hands. Warm it through the fingers. It really doesn't need it at all, but again, it's just gonna add a bit more hold. Okay guys, so that is the finished look using the Cavalier clay just to give a bit more hold. Honestly, I'm really happy with how my hair looks at the minute. Um, probably one of my favorite hairstyles to date. It's very natural, it's very beach surfer dude style, and it's perfect whilst I'm out here in Ibiza. I really, really enjoy having this hairstyle, and it's really not too much high maintenance or too hard to style at all as you just saw. These products will be linked down below and there will be a discount code. Make sure you use my discount code because the support is very much appreciated. And yeah, hopefully you guys have sick hair like me too. And obviously you can use these products if your hair isn't quite as long as mine. But again, as you saw how long it is, let's just get the longest bit just down to the nose. So it does take a little bit of effort to grow your hair this long, but it is worth it. And then on the sides, I just have like a, a one gradually faded up and then I have it kind of blended in on the side so it's not too heavy. And that is today's video. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.